Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a preview of the Reading Royals weekend, where I'll be there covering the games for Flyers Nitty Gritty that I'm going to link at the end of this video. Well, actually, in the description down below, like I always do, I'm going to link them, and I'm going to link the Reading Royals channel at the end of this video, because Dylan Coyle did a fantastic job, the announcer, on the Lions roar, explaining and having an interview with Kirk McDonald going over specifically how this team plays a good 90%, 80% of the game, but then doesn't have that 20 um, or 10% of the game. He used the 90-10 example. In some games, it seems like it's more 80-20 to me, but that still means you're playing primarily very good hockey. It's just, like Kirk said in Coyle's wonderful video, the lines were, you just need to be able to close it out. And when you're bad, you're bad, but when you're good, you're good. Why don't you play adequate in that time? the Reading Royals will be fine, and that is perfectly true, but when it comes to roster, obviously with ECHL teams, when I wrote my Pat Nagel article that is on Flyers Nitty Gritty as well about how good he's doing, you need guys to step up because you have injuries from the AHL, obviously, that then affects the ECHL. Charlie Girard is now up with the Phantoms as well. He's earned that. He's up with them now. Going to get a chance to play with them, as is Matthew Strome, who is obviously the Royals' arguably best player and is obviously a guy that has earned the way to move up, and that is exactly what the Flyers are trying to do with him. Just keep moving him up the ranks as a guy that's getting better at skating each year already has all the other skills you need. It's just similar to Lawton. Once he works on his strides and his skating, he's a guy that probably could honestly in my opinion, be in the NHL and work his way up from the fourth line up and then just go from there, and then that'll be a very good thing for him maybe a year or so down the line. So this um, Norfolk Admirals team, they were able to take advantage of our Reading Royals faltering down the stretch last game. In this game, I look for the Royals to come out and have more jam, as Peter Laviolette would say, be able to kind of play along the boards a little bit better, set the tempo of this game like they did last game early, but then keep the ante going with either a big hit or some momentum driving play that you have at the start of the third period or in the middle of the third period that just keeps the Norfolk Admirals on their seats going, yeah, we probably just don't have this one, which is exactly the situation the Royals were in last game, but then they had that off 10% that they faltered and the Norfolk Admirals came back. The key to this game and this weekend series is you got to just keep the ante going you got to keep the pressure going it's a lot easier said than done obviously when you're playing a grueling sport like hockey for 60 minutes but it's something these guys have done before and it's something they're going to do again and it all can start tonight when the Reading Royals take on the Norfolk Admirals as they get a chance again to come right back against the same opponent two in a row, which I think is a great thing when you have an off game to come back against them again, because that's just motivating you even more to say you ain't doing this against us again. So this has been a weekend preview to the uh, Reading Royals playing the Norfolk Admirals as they try to bounce back from having that off 10% that cost the loss last game to now having a very good, say you don't usually have a good 100% of a hockey game unless you dominate the other team. 95% of a game, and then a solid 5% that's going to win most hockey games. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe up above on the Easy Juice Widget or down below. And as always, check out the Running Royals videos. They do wonderful stuff on their YouTube channel as well as Flyers Nitty Gritty. Peace out, everybody.